Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be playing Max Cooldown Reduction Rise. Uh, and I actually went for a strike because I am uh, top lane Rise. Uh, and I actually have Ghost as well. Because uh, I am playing in a little bit of a lower elo. I am playing in Smurf Q around Platinum elo. Uh, which means probably the Smurfs are around Diamond elo or something like that. But yeah. Um, should be a pretty interesting game for us to play out here. Uh, my build path is going to be... See, probably Everfrost into uh... all right, all right, chill, bro. Uh, Everfrost into uh... oh, since we are going for Max CDR, I will do uh, Archangels and go Cosmic Drive. The whole point of this build, this rune page, is to just farm the opponents as much as you can. Uh, especially with this first strike, you can get a lot of gold off this thing. Um, and I would only really recommend this in the top lane. I would not advise you get a, a going this in the uh, mid lane, because unless you're versus a melee for some reason, but rarely that happens. As you can see, this guy's trying to walk up, but I'm just farming him, getting that gold. 11 gold, not bad. I'm just going to keep autoing this guy. He's just continuously disrespecting me, so, so far so good. The next time my mana flows up, I'll uh, look for mana flow stack. Damn, just like that. I'm gonna pull this minion here. I might lose the CS actually, but that's okay. And okay, now I have first strike, so next time this guy walks up, I'll be farming some gold on this guy. Uh, Set is actually one of the easiest laners to farm, especially with first strike. But yeah, this guy's not having the best time, and I'm getting rich off your strike here. Already 35 gold gain. Holy moly. Okay, and the one thing you do have to remember is you don't have phase rush, so just keep that in mind. Uh, my runes are showing in the, in the left side, uh, bottom left side, in case you are wondering what I specifically went. Okay, not bad, 13 gold. I could go set him, but I don't have my W, so I'm not gonna really do it yet. Okay, now I'm gonna go set him because this guy's just walking up like this. So disrespectfully. Okay, just W E Q, secure that money. Bam, just like that. He has ignite too, so like he's in a really bad spot now. I'm gonna go ahead and shove this next wave out. Mm, actually I didn't really need to shove this because I think it crashed, but I'm just gonna do it anyways. Oh no, that's quite unfortunate. I think I'm good. I think I'm still good. I'm just gonna base. That victor is really screwing himself over here. Hopefully I can insist on that. Nice, I got an assist on that. Oh, I actually can't buy boots, I forgot. Uh, okay. Because I uh, went um, magical footwear. So with this rune page and this build, well, mostly the rune page, but you're just maximizing your gold as much as you can. Uh, because you save 300 gold because you don't have to buy boots and you get a lot of gold from first strike. I'll probably end up going Rylize or Cosmic Drive. We'll go Cosmic Drive. I personally like Rylize more, uh, but Cosmic Drive, I do want to test it, so that's what we are going to uh, play. This guy should be killable. Doesn't really have a shield. Okay, not bad, not bad. You can really tell this uh, it's a bit of a lower elo that I'm playing in compared to usual. Usually I play master tier games, um, a minimum. Uh, this game is around diamond level because I am playing in Smurf Q. Maybe low diamond high plat. I think that is the level I'm playing at in this elo. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take a base here. I have a lot of gold. I am just so extremely rich and accelerated right now. I'm not sure what this guy's doing. Okay, he's not trying to stop my base or anything. I don't think he even sees me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a base here. Probably get Everfrost. Oh, well, components to Everfrost is what I mean. Yeah, I'll just uh, keep walking back to the mid lane. Or not mid lane, top lane. I'm used to saying mid lane. I'm a mid laner, but I'm walking top lane here. Uh, and reminder, I only take Ghost below Master tier because I feel like PP is less important once you are playing in Master tier. Uh, or like below Master tier. But anywhere above that, uh, I feel like TP is very important. So, yeah, if you guys feel like, you can even take Ghost too. Right, I'm gonna put a pink down here so I don't get ganked from this angle. Let's see where J4 is. Then we're just gonna shove in and just be a lane bully. This is basically lane bully rise, where you just farm shove and you just farm your um your first strike gold you really want to try and make sure you get the most out of your first strike I'm gonna look for the bounce here nice one very well so far just want to poke him under tower this is actually one of the easiest matchups to rise Just keep looking for poke as much as I can. Guy is doing some weird juking patterns. Hey, okay, very nice. Lots of poke. I'll probably dive him. I'm gonna back up a little, then run at him. Oh shit! There's a random vex here. Okay. Well, I died, but it's whatever. It's a random support room. Okay, and the next item is either going to be Archangels or Cosmic Drive. It really depends on how many tier stacks I have. Um, so maybe I go for Cosmic Drive this one. I don't need to buy pink because it's already uh, down over there. So I'm just going to walk out of base. And let's see how much gold my first strike has gotten me. 133 gold. That's basically half a kill. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm just gonna run straight back to top lane. Just be a lane bully. Enemy killing now I'll never run out of mana because I have biscuits. So I'll just be playing as aggressively as I can. Can't wait to get to my items. So far smooth sailing. Oh, Seth's over there, actually. Okay, I just hit the plates for free then. Oh, I got my magical boots. Very nice. Oh my god, I missed the warden. Unlucky. See Victor over there. See J4. Only Victor can be coming top. No one else. Oh, well, Seth could as well. Gonna keep hitting these plates. Maybe they lane swapped. Unfortunately, I do not have phase rush, so I cannot really chase him down much further at all because I don't have phase rush. Maybe CJ4. See Vex. Okay, not bad. Oh my god, I'm getting low. Nice, not bad. I think I'm just gonna... Well, no one can actually stop me here because everybody died. Only Jinxar can kill me, so I'm just gonna stay. Even though I'm super low, I can still stay. 
As you guys can see, not having phase rush is kind of annoying. Like, I can't reposition myself that well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this in base. Alright, perfect time. Just reset. Oh my god, is he. He's actually just gonna run as far up as he can and try to look for me. Okay, I have my Cosmic Drive now, a very good power spike. Unfortunately, I am skipping boots for a little while, but nothing to worry about. This thing gives me 75 AP, not bad at all. Um, I still think, if you guys missed my last video, um, did a uh, video on a pretty tanky Rise build where you have 4k HP and uh, a lot of resistances, I still think that is the best Rise build, but I am just testing this out here. Then after this, I want to get, um, what do you call it, um, Archangels and see how that feels. Um, currently I have 40% CDR, pretty good. I can probably just run this guy down, honestly. That's what the ghost is for. Alright, now I'm just getting out of here. Goodbye. Unstoppable. And I'll start building towards this. The only thing that builds into it that I can buy right now is Ruby Crystal. So I'll just go ahead and get that. Get a pink ward and then just head right on back to top lane. I could just EQ the minions and kill them so I don't have to worry about minion damage. Right now I'm just running back into the top lane. Um, 2.2k off this item. Right now I think this item is fucking horrible, but I'm just doing this to see how this build feels. Um, this item is horrible because it's so expensive and the stats it gives are really bad. Um, but they are going to buff it next patch when they make it um, 400 gold cheaper. It's very significant. Okay, so 176 gold again from this. I'm going to see if I can get some poke on this guy. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that much poke. Okay, very nice. I have so much move speed right now, holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, Cosmic Drive, not too bad. 204 AP right now. I got 51 gold from that trade. Very nice. Getting rich off this rune. The best part about this rune is actually it does damage too, and it just keeps yelling. Oh, rest in peace, me. Okay, next part of the build is going to be Ionian Boots for more ability haste. You can honestly get away with uh, Sork Shoes too, but I'm here to test out maximum ability haste, so that's why I'm going to go with these boots. Your team has destroyed a turret. We'll probably get to like 150 ability haste this game or something. Now, do I recommend always buying Cosmic Drive? Probably not. This item is very, kind of extra. Um, but it is a very cost efficient item if you can afford to get it in your build. Normally what I would build is Everfrost into probably Thimblewinter or Archangels. Right now Thimblewinter because it's so much cheaper. And then I would get Rylize or Cosmic Drive if you really want it. So, yeah. And my Ghost is up in 30 seconds. Okay, this guy proc my first strike. Kind of a jerk. As you guys can see, I have a lot of move speed, 415, because Cosmic Drive does give you move speed. I'm just getting camped now, eh? I'm gonna go Blasting Wand here. Oh, guys, Victor. Kill Victor. 
Whatever that guy's doing is really illegal. Looks like Gasso's dead, so I'll take over that lane. Okay. So the reason I don't go top here is there's already two people topside. So there's no need for me to go top. When people are gonna collect this wave, like Rand is doing right now, when I can just go bot and collect the that wave down there. Okay. Now I should win split push everywhere, uh, as long as I don't get keep getting one v two'd by this J four that keeps coming into my lane like a jerk. My E keeps going down in cooldown. Uh, level thirteen is when Rise gets super strong because he is such a little cooldown by five by that point. Currently, it's a one point four six cooldown. I'm getting pretty close to being able to afford my uh, my Archangels. Just gonna stick around waiting for this. Uh, oh. See ya. Oh no, this guy is just follows me everywhere, man. What jerk. I just want to pressure somewhere, but it's pretty difficult. The one thing I do notice about this build is I'm a lot squishier. You don't get nearly as much health. Uh, compared to Rylai's, Rylai's gives 100 more health, and also this one. Uh, Fimble Winter gives like around 650 health with the passive. This only gives you uh, 200 H 250 HP, actually. It's a lot more than I thought, but still. Is okay, right now is the grouping phase of the game, so like they're just A-ramming. And whoever, like, okay, basically in solo queue, uh, if you don't babysit your teammates, they will basically run it down because they're just going to default play aggressive like they are doing right now. So in essence, you have to really babysit your team sometimes and make sure that you're there for the aggressive plays. Okay, not bad. Well, that was a pretty good rotation. I can just play for this tower. Yeah, I'm just gonna go get this tower. This is worth like um, it's worth like 700 gold or something. So it's basically worth two kills. So there's no need for me to go mid to get two kills um, when I can just get two kills worth of gold right here down home. Gonna get this, I'm gonna base. Alright. Now I'm pretty power spiked. I have basically the core of my build. I have everything I really need. Um, the next thing I can really get is probably. Hmm. I mean, what gives me most CDR, actually? We'll just build some more CDR. Um, but after you already have like 100 <laughs> CDR, you don't really need that much more, honestly. You're kind of like. Over, over, over specking into ability haze. But right now, my cooldown's on on it. 44% cooldown of its original, because I have 56% CDR. So I'm kind of a fucking machine gun. Machine gun rise, as you may call it. I'm just gonna keep split pushing bot side. Um, my E's on a almost one second cooldown. My W is on a 5.46 cooldown. So my root will be up pretty uh, pretty much most of the time. I'm not really sure where this J4 is, so I'm a little spooked. No sets down here, I just don't know where J4 is. So, okay, there's J4. Yeah, there's definitely three people bot side, so I really just want them to uh, pressure top side before I step up and over aggressive. Now this is very important, guys. The fact that you don't Overextend until your teammates are ready to pressure is the difference maker in split pushing. Okay, 
So I see where Set is, I see where J4 is. So it could only be Victor down here. As soon as I see him, I'm just gonna fight. Okay, looks like there's a fight breaking out over there. I'm actually gonna go for this Victor here. There's no escape, pal. Oh my god. Who the fuck aims there? What? Oh my god. Okay, this game just got a lot more complicated. Okay, next item that I want is going to be... You have slain an enemy. Is this bad? Is this good? No, oh, it makes you tanky. It gives you extra damage. Why not? Yeah, this game is actually pretty close now. So we can definitely see how this build feels in action. I'm actually not going to opt in for that. I'm actually going to go for Zanyas because I mean, this is the only way I can see this build being viable compared to the other build where I actually have resistances. This build, I don't really have resistances. I don't have phase rush to chase. So the only way I can actually survive is with the stopwatch. Damn. Now is the babysitting phase, guys. I'm just going to stick around my team because I know they're just going to die if I'm not with them. So yeah, we'll just be babysitting, basically. Oh my god. Okay, well it's not the worst. It's not the best either. Okay. Alright. Well, as you guys can see, that stopwatch already did work. Um, okay. This is actually a pretty standard build that most people build on Rise nowadays. Uh, with the Seraphs and the uh, Everfrost and the Cosmic Drive. So, I'd say this build would be okay. Minus the Cosmic Drive. Like I said, guys, this item is a very luxury item. You don't need it. It, it gives you move speed. It gives you a good amount of AP and health, but you don't need it. What you would normally have here is a Void Staff uh, instead of Cosmic Drive. And that would be so much more useful than... Uh, what it's doing for me right now. So, am I regretting this cosmic drive purchase? Definitely. Is it good? In some scenarios, not this one. But yes, Zanya's is still really good right now. And like I said, guys, this playstyle is different from uh, the previous video where I just basically played full tank rise. Bad, not bad. Rick's coming up in 30. Oh my god. I'm coming, pal. Oh my god. Okay, not bad. Hey, is the CDR helping my DPS output? A little bit. Not the most, but a little bit. I could definitely feel it in the uh, in the J4 fight there. Um, that my abilities were coming up very quickly. Um, yeah, most of it is honestly from uh, Seraph's Embrace. Let's see how much it gives me. 31 ability haste, which is basically the same as a uh, what do you call it? Uh, the same as Cosmic Drive. But yeah, you definitely don't need Cosmic Drive on Rise. In fact, I recommend against it. If you're going to get a health item, probably get Rylize. Because if you think about it this way, Rylize gives you an extra part to your kit that you did not have before. Being slows. Whereas if you get Cosmic Drive, all it gives you are stats. HP, a little bit of move speed. I really like the move speed, but it's not enough to justify getting it. Um, so yeah, HP, move speed, and AP. That's all it gives you. And ability haste. 
And then Void Staff, I definitely do think is core on Rise. Uh, Death Cap, stat wise, is pretty shit. Um, it doesn't give you that much AP. Because you don't get that much AP anymore uh, from items. So I definitely think that Void Staff is better than uh, Death Cap. This thing gives you 45% magic concentration, which is kind of insane. One thirty-nine ability haste right now, with a uh, fifty-eight percent cooldown reduction. I'm basically playing Rise on Earth mode here. And go ahead and get this Gromp. They're fighting over there. It could be okay. Could be bad. Who knows? Yeah, it doesn't look that good. Let's see how much gold I made off for a strike. 449. Okay. Hmm. I mean, sure, I'm up some gold, but... For a strike... I mean, it's not bad, and I'd say. It's not horrible. It's not great, either. Like, if I took Conquer this game, it wouldn't be that different, I guess. Usually, it just depends on if you, if you want Phase Rush or not. Phase Rush is probably the broken rune on Rise, for the most part. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Void Staff here, and I'll be extremely strong. I'm not gonna split push anymore, because one, I don't have TP, and two, I don't trust my teammates to not grief if I'm not with them. So I'm just gonna group with them, and prevent them from griefing. Like right now, this guy's really griefing. Yeah, we can still Baron though. Okay, Okay. the plus side of this build is I one-shot the fuck out of Baron because I just do it so quickly because my cooldowns are so low. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's already gone. Okay, I am full build now. Um, I have 3k health. The other build I did the uh, other day was... Around 3.8k health, so it was definitely way tankier, and you have a lot more resistances. This build does more damage, that's for sure. That's the difference. I'm just gonna base and go through mid bot here. Can't really play three lanes in solo queue without teammates inting, so now let's see how much CDR this gives. 35 ability haste from the side. I'm not too horrible. Not too horrible. Thirty-five percent of mana spent. So every time I press C, it gives me thirty-five health. Unfortunate that it doesn't give more health back. That'd be so broken if it did. Just want to play mid bot. I have both some, so I can play pretty aggressively. And posture up. They're fighting over there. Not having phase rush actually sucks. The slow resistance is really OP. I'm healing up a little bit off Seraphs. Wow. This... I don't really want to fight when it's like that. Oh, fuck. Oops, I did it wrong. Oh, I got it anyways. Alright, let's leave. They can't really chase me. Ah. Uh. I really wish I could one-shot this guy, but Rise is, Rise is not a one-shot champion right now. Like, if it was old Rise, I could probably just Q, W, E, Q, and he's just insta-dead. But I hear I have to use a lot of spells to kill him. I'm gonna reset here, my Baron Recall. Okay, so 
I'm probably just gonna sell this and get this. This is better. I only lost four CDR, four percent CDR, so it's definitely worth. But yeah, a lot of ability haste, guys. Split bot a bit. No one can really one v one me still. Oh, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Ha! <laughs> Getting that kill from my first strike gave me 200 extra gold off that kill. <laughs> Dude, the thing about Archangel's healing is it's so fake, like you barely get health back. Okay, I'm just gonna split push. They're not matching numbers on bot side, so... This means I get to shop for free. Definitely looking. Yeah, they they can't deal with the split push. Might just be able to end the game here if they keep doing that. I could fight, but it's better to just keep shoving. Honestly, I just get Nexus towers. Look how far they're chasing, guys. I'm just ending the game. I'm <laughs> D gates, guys. D gates. Oh, I'm probably dead here. That's okay. They're triple inhib, they can't leave their base anymore. So this game state is probably not the best for them. Honestly, here I could just change my build to whatever the fuck I want. So I could do this. <laughs> I could do uh this. <laughs> I could do this. I could do anything, guys. It really doesn't matter. 45, what's my U cooldown? 1.37 with this, it is 1.187, so about 0.2 seconds difference. I think I'll actually spring for the Rylize here. Mm, how much AP do I have? Not much. I'll, I'll just buy this first and then see what I want to do from here. It's like 60. Yeah. Pretty nice abilities. I mean, okay. I'm gonna try for AP. I mean, we've basically seen how the um, the Cosmic Drive build was working out. It gave you uh, quite the amount of ability haste, a good amount of move speed, you know? Definitely not bad. Okay, my EQs are doing 1.1k, not too horrible. If this was old Rise, I'd be at 1.1k AP. <laughs> but I can only get up to 752 it seems, unfortunate. We can just basically wait for all the minions to do the work for us here. Pretty easy game to close out. Just gonna keep split pushing. And I have ghosts to play around. Their base is gonna be overwhelmed pretty soon. I think you're just gonna ghost on this guy. Ow. Yeah, the death cap? Eh, I mean, I'm not like one shotting them. Like, I'm honestly not doing all that much damage. Well, it's just compared to the old rise. I mean, this is a fair amount of damage. It's just. Not the best compared to the old one. But yeah, um 
I definitely don't think this build is all that great yet. I, right now, I still prefer Fimble Winter like a lot over what I just uh, what I just had. So yeah, I would advise you guys to keep building Fimble Winter for now until the Archangel's buffs come in. Uh, where it becomes the same price as Bimble Winter, because the reason Bimble Winter is so broken is it's, it's so cheap. That's why it's so broken. But yeah, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!